Who can resist the rich, smoky saltiness of bacon? Not us. This bacon jam recipe satisfies your craving for bacon and is a terrific way to spice up breakfast time. In a large Dutch oven over medium-high heat, add bacon and cook, stirring occasionally until it's crisp. Drain, leaving about a quarter cup of the bacon fat in the pan. Lower the heat to medium and stir in the onion and shallot and cook until softened. Add maple syrup, mustard, Worcestershire sauce, and salt and pepper to taste. Add a half a cup of water and stir to combine. Bring the mixture to a boil, then reduce heat to low and simmer, stirring occasionally. Cook until the jam has a syrup-like consistency, about one to one and a half hours. Let the mixture cool for about 30 minutes, then transfer to a food processor. Pulse a few times to puree the large pieces, stopping every pulse or two to stir. Consistency should be thick and chunky. Transfer mixture to an airtight container and store in the refrigerator for up to four to five days. For best results, bring to room temperature before serving. You can find the link to this recipe posted below this video. Be sure to let us know if you try it. 30 minutes, then transfer to a food processor. Pulse a few times to puree the large pieces, stopping every pulse or two to stir. Consistency should be thick and chunky. Transfer mixture to an airtight container and store in the refrigerator. Who can resist the rich, smoky saltiness of bacon? Not us. This bacon jam recipe satisfies your craving for bacon and is a terrific combine. Bring the mixture to a boil, then reduce heat to low and simmer, stirring occasionally. Cook until the jam has a syrup-like consistency, about one to one and a half hours. Let the mixture cool for about 30 minutes. way to spice up breakfast time. In a large Dutch oven over medium-high heat, add bacon and cook, stirring occasionally until it's crisp. Drain, leaving about a quarter cup of the bacon fat in the pan. Lower the heat to medium and stir in the onion and shallot and cook until softened. Add maple syrup, mustard, Worcestershire sauce, and salt and pepper to taste. Add a half a cup of water and stir 